Hello, everybody. This is, this is very exciting uh, to be here today. I just want to say uh, good afternoon. I want to thank and recognize uh, a truly great man with one of the best haircuts in Congress, Representative McGovern. He has been an incredible champion. He's been dedicated in his relentless leadership in tackling the hunger and nutrition crisis. He's inspired me, and he's been inspiring so many in our country. And I'm grateful for him to be my partner now on this effort. Uh, and I'm so uh, just uh, enthused that he's standing with us as well. I want to thank Tom Colicchio. Where is Tom? Another man with a great haircut. Um, uh, he is an extraordinary leader in America, uh, someone who is using his voice and his platform, his energy and his resources uh, to really talk about how we can meet the crisis of hunger and uh, the nutrition crisis in our country. And really, he's been speaking for years about how to repair America's broken food system. And so we're here to talk about what is one of the most personal issues in our lives. Um, it's something that is deeply influenced by our federal policy, and that is America's food. Food brings us together. Uh, food is at the center of some of our most cherished memories in life. Food is supposed to nourish us, to fill us, to fuel us. But right now in the United States of America, we have a nutrition crisis that is literally killing us. It's shortening our lifespan. It is targeting our children. It's disproportionately hurting the low income, the marginalized black and brown communities like the one I live. It's destroying our very heritage of family farmers. It's gutting rural communities. It's all making us sicker. And the only people that are winning are big multinational corporations. We have a nutrition crisis in America where nearly half, nearly half of all adults in the United States are pre-diabetic or have type 2 diabetes. We have nearly 25% of the teenagers in our country are pre-diabetic or have type 2 diabetes. This nutrition crisis in America allows someone in a community like mine to go to a bodega or a corner grocery store and find a product loaded with sugar and artificial ingredients actually cheaper than a healthy snack like an apple. In part because shockingly only 2% of our federal ag subsidies go to the one thing that our government tells us to eat most of, which are fruits and vegetables. We have a nutrition crisis in America and it's part of the problem that is really a problem we just don't talk enough about. And that's because we have big food companies that are putting profit before public health. And they want us to believe something that's a lie. They want us to believe that things like hunger and obesity are somehow moral failings. Well, it's not a moral failing to have such widespread child poverty. It's not a moral failing that we have an almost epidemic level of obesity in our country. It's a failing in American food policy. The crisis right now in America is not a bit about a failure of Americans to quote, make good food choices. It's about a decades long policy failure to address deep seated structural problems in our food systems that we in this nation are subsidizing to the tune of billions and billions of dollars. We know that big food companies purposely formulate and market nutrition, nutrient poor, addictive, ultra processed foods. And then folks want to blame the consequences on us. We have a collective responsibility, especially here in our federal government, to step in and protect the American people. The year that I was born, the President of the United States convened a White House conference on the urgent national concern of widespread hunger in America. What resulted was an unprecedented expansion and creation of vital programs to tackle the hunger crisis. But over 50 years later, we are still grappling with the same hunger crisis. And now we have the additional crisis threatening America's health, which is nutrition insecurity. This is a moment where we need to fundamentally rethink and rework how we approach food and nutrition policy in the United States. 
And the best way for us to begin this process is a White House conference, the second ever White House conference on food, nutrition, hunger, and health that convenes the public and private stakeholders to reimagine, to use our moral imagination to reimagine federal food and nutrition policy. That's why we are introducing this bill to convene a second White House conference that will address the three most urgent challenges when it comes to fixing our broken food system, hunger, nutrition, insecurity, and diet-related diseases. Because the fact is, the way our food system currently operates is a choice. It is a choice, and we can change it. We can choose health. We can choose vitality. We can choose to have an American life that is abundant. It is within our power to tear down this broken food system and build one that doesn't starve and poison the American people, but feeds and nourishes them. And to do that, I am calling for a new coalition. We must have in our nation a new coalition. We must have a coalition with activists and advocates like those who are here with us today to close, what our bro to close and end what our broken food system is doing. We need a new coalition with healthcare professionals who understand the relationship between nutrition and health, between nourishment and life success. We need a new coalition with independent family farmers who are being driven out of business, standing up with the same against the corporations that are making us sick and begin to partner with them. We need a new coalition with food and farm workers who are too often not being protected on the job and not being paid a living wage by those same big food companies. We need a coalition that begins to help us understand that we're all in this together. It's not rural versus urban versus suburban. No, it is one America, and we need to join our communities in a common chorus of conviction to fix this broken food system, to eradicate food deserts, and ensure that every child in America has access to abundant nutrition. And we need a new coalition here in Congress, not one that is about right or left, but one that is about ending the wrongs and all of us choosing what is right. Lawmakers that understand that every issue of justice, from environmental justice to economic justice to health justice, it all intersects with our food system. We have a nutrition crisis in America, and we can no longer be silent about it. We have to end the absurdities. We have to invest in Americans, not invest in the continuous broken systems that are hurting Americans. We need to speak up, we need to speak out, and we need the White House to convene with all of the leaders who are stakeholders in America and begin to chart a way out of this broken system and a way to higher ground for us all. I am honored to bring to the microphone now a true champion of making sure we end the hunger crisis in America, a, new, a champion for ending the nutrition crisis in the America, a, new fr a friend of mine, and an incredible leader, I bring you Congressman McGovern.